So let me call on stage our evaluator for the first speaker, Toastmaster Suvarna, to tell us about her target speaker and the speech purpose. Over to you, Toastmaster Suvarna. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Inuka. Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. Yeah, thank you. So, good evening, everyone. My target speaker is Toastmaster Suvarna is pursuing her pathway dynamic leadership and her project name is icebreaker and she is pursuing her level one project one the title of her speech is my journey and the time for her speech is four to six minutes so i would like to say all i uh, all the best toastmaster palak uh, and Toastmaster Suvarna, are you there? I think you can take over. She almost yeah. completed. Yeah. All right. All right. Toastmaster Pala, my journey. My journey, Toastmaster Pala. Thank you, TM Renuka. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. Today, I will be giving my icebreaker speech. For those who don't know me, my name is Palak Gar. I'm a third year student at Symbiosis College of Arts and Commerce, and I'm majoring in accounting and finance. So I turned 20 exactly two weeks ago. And when I was asked to write a speech, either about my childhood or adulthood, I had two decades to look upon to find out any incident that made a big impact on my life. After hours of going through all the memories in my mind and in my familiarity, I was somehow was not able to find any single memory that had a drastic impact on me. Now you must be wondering why this girl doesn't have a memory to share. I definitely have moments that are worth sharing, but not something that particularly made difference in me. So I asked my savior, my mom, the question that why I'm not able to think of any moment. And my mom answered, because you were that clueless kid who would just follow people saying blindly and not follow something with passion, which is the truth. From my childhood till now, I would never really care about myself. I would be least bothered to stand out in academics or in extracurricular activities. I was always that average shy kid who would do things just because it was supposed to be done. Being the first child in the house, I was loved unconditionally by my parents. They made sure I studied in the best school of the city, even if it was far away from me. They opened all the doors for me to explore for extracurricular activities. Because of them, painting and dancing became a part of my life, which is now inseparable. These are the only things I was some serious about. I was always that kind of person that didn't have a big dream, not they or knew what to do, unlike my friends who knew what they were doing and what they want to become. When 10th finished, I was asked to choose a stream and I was blank. My parents wanted to me take science, typical Indian parents, so that I have many options open after my 12th. But life had a different plan for me. I ended up with commerce with maths. Not a total disappointment for my parents because I had math, which was not easy to get into my school at 11th. Even after choosing stream, I had a very simple thinking. I was to finish school, finish college, get a job at top MNC, and boom, you automatically become a millionaire. Not knowing which college, which degree, or which job I want. But my life was sorted with this thinking. Well, I wouldn't lie, this was my thinking till my very first year of college. And it's totally not my fault, because school is a very protective environment where you really don't think about the real world. But college gives you reality check somehow. One and a half year of college went online because of pandemic. Second year of college had a series of events. I went to college for the very first time. Met a whole new people with a very new mindset and a very new take on the world. To be honest, it's quite overwhelming for an introvert like me. Listening to their plans, their actions made me want to think about my choices, my plan. I was good at planning things but not acting upon. I was that kid who used to make timetables for every single exam, but was unable to follow it for a single day. Being surrounded with these people made me want to work now. But this motivation doesn't used to stay constant. 
and you must be wondering why the reason is because these action asked me to come out of my comfort zone bubble which is very hard for someone who has stayed in that comfort zone bubble for 20 years but the palak you're seeing right now is coming out of that bubble why and how for why i have a single word answer regret because jim ron once said that we must suffer one of two suffer one is the suffer of discipline and the second is the suffer of regret i want to choose the first suffer than the later because i fear from the regret the most i want to be that well balanced human being who's just best at a job who is self disciplined and who can learn and grow from every challenge she faced more importantly is not afraid to grab any opportunity so how am i coming out of the bubble well i joined toastmaster and you wouldn't believe me it took me 2 months to convince myself to join and 1.5 months to give my very first speech but it's never too late here i'm trying to be my best version and showing up for myself thank you